Howdy to all. Uh, I'm starting a video just for the fun of it. Uh, it is a very hard time for a lot of people in Calgary. And my name is Teresa. This is Pain Time with Calgary. Um, it's actually spring, even though we haven't gone out. Um, let's start with something really fun and actually spring more of a spring uh, time instead of a winter one and a snow. Again, as I said, my name is Teresa and this is Paint Time in Calgary. Uh, if you're watching it in any other part of the world, we are not having a great uh, start yet, but rule number one with painting is relax, enjoy your time, forget about everything else, Think about it as an art therapy. If you don't understand my accent, go back and restart. Uh, whenever you feel like uh, you need to pause it, pause it and finish the part that you like and then go on again. Um, smile the whole time and let's forget about everything and do this nice original painting with fun. So what I did just so I can make the video shorter than uh, it could be. Paint your whole canvas with the lightest green that you have. And that's just the start. Then you're gonna get a lot of choices during this time. Make a painting that is specific to you, not to me and not to the person that is watching you doing it. That's going to be a special uh, kind of a piece of art that you will enjoy and you feel like doing. So the very first choice I'm giving you, if you like to do this as a portrait or if you like to do it as a landscape. Last time I did this, I did a uh, landscape. This time I'm going to do it as a portrait. So let's start with the whole thing going for it. Since this is a very beginner course, I'm going to go step by step. So I'm going to think about my canvas of how long it is, no matter if you have it on a landscape or on a portrait stuff. Think about it of how long it is. Take your uh, middle style of uh, brush that uh, I will provide you and then divide your canvas to three so I'm going to think about it. Okay, I have to put it back because I thought maybe I can. I'm going to put it into back and then think about the whole length and divide it to three. And then I'm going to put a line and start going across. Now, keep putting water on it so it goes nicely. And I'm going to make this whole middle part white. Since I make the line, then you just do the middle part as uh, bright as you like it or as uh, dark as you like it. This is one of the painting that hopefully is gonna be hang uh, somewhere that you wanna be feeling calm and peace, especially if you are doing yoga or anything uh, comfortable for yourself these days. So, do the white, just go left and right. You don't have to worry about anything. We are just at this point going right across just to make it look brighter than it was. Might be hard to see. If you have a glass of water beside you, it's the best thing uh, to use it when you want it to go all the way across without any uh, line. With this one, you don't have to worry so much. So, I did my right. 
I'm going to have some leaves coming down and I'm going to have a kind of a river maybe going on over here. So, um, since this is the background of the uh, stones that I'm going to have somewhere, I'm just going to put a couple of like push it as hard as you can with your white and just go as many as you like. If you look at the picture at the very end when I finish, then you will see what I mean with it. It's totally up to you how much you're going to go with. Okay, let's put um, my stones on this side and uh, maybe the leaves coming more on that side. So I'm going to take maybe a dark green because we, I had a light one. And I'm going to put some big leaves coming down from the background thinking there was a bush over there. So I'm going to maybe go like this to here. A smaller one going down this way. And another big one coming this way. Let's do it that way. Now, you took a nice big ones. So start putting your darker green all the way that you like it to be. Don't think about it being smooth because it's going to be easily. So I'm going to make it maybe go from the side. At this point, you're holding your brush 90 degrees. So I'll show you with this part what I mean. I might go like this if I don't want it to be. And then keep filling it up until it's totally filled up. I hope I can put this one up on a, uh, Instagram as well as Facebook. This is just to do something unusual for yourself or relaxing for yourself. I'm going to do the same thing with the little one that I have over here. And maybe take a little bit of a black very little and make this one a little darker just because it's in the background kind of a thing so now i have black on my brush which is kind of fun to do since i put this one i'm going to outline the middle part of these guys so let's go straight out and then do I want it to go outward or do I want it to come in? I think I'm going to put it outward. So let's put them going just a little outward. So it's going to make it look a little unusual. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. And then, uh, yeah, let's go outward on this one as well. So, as you can see, I put one darker than the other one. Now, I'm going to make sure to attach them so it doesn't have a line in between them. Okay, it's quite simple, but it's totally okay. When, instead of cleaning your brush, since this is going to be a river and you're going to have a lot of reflection, I would say hold it this way and start cleaning your brush almost on your own canvas. So all I'm doing is basically putting my uh, brush all the way over here. So when I start going, just going across, just put as many lines as you like and as many shape as you like. It can be wavy, it can be straight. I'm going to make it messy. 
So I had the white and I had black and I had the green on it. So, and I didn't wash my brush and now all of it is gonna show. Basically go back, front, everywhere as you can. Let's make this guy part of that. So again, since I didn't clean up my brush, I'm going to have some green in there. So I'm going to go on the very top of it. If you want to take more, go ahead and make it darker if you like. Just going to do this guy. Go over some of my white if I feel like it, if not. See some of them were still having not being dry following the brush as I wanted. So as I said, make it as smooth as you like. We don't want it to be too much or too little. Okay, again, same thing. Um just wash your brush very little and take a black with the same brush and we're gonna go decide how many actually because this tower of the stones is totally what you like to do I want it to be big because later on I'm gonna put something on it so let's see I'm going to put an oval over here, this big. I'm going to put another oval on the top of it. And maybe two more. One more and two. Now, as you saw, I was holding the brush this way. So I'm holding it almost parallel to the canvas. Let's make these guys dark. Make them kind of smooth lines because it's going to be tower of stone. And we also If you want to wipe it before you start doing the uh, the next step, whenever you are doing it, you're welcome to do so. As you can see, this is a very easy one. And it's almost all of it with the same brush, if you think about it. Very few of it is going to be with a different size of the brush. Okay, now I'm going to try to make a line kind of visible over here with a couple of steps to make sure people know that this is a river. So this is right beside the river that I had and where I had the white. So now since I put my stone over there, I'm going to have a reflection of it inside the water. So I'm going to try to do the same thing, but... Of course, not as dark as I did for the top part. I'm just going to put the outline. Remember, since uh, size-wise, it doesn't have to be exactly the same because you're looking at it in the water. You can make it bigger or smaller. It doesn't matter, really. So I'm going to put very little lines here and there, since again is the river, even though I made it, I made the reflection, you won't be able to see a perfect reflection. So I'm just putting line across in here, quite easy, quite easy. So as you can see, I saw, um, I did some reflection of it. Now. It doesn't have to show the corners. You can leave it like this or 
you can just make the corners a little uh, disappearing so it's not like so much of a um, perfect one so it's coming down and then you can make some again some blacks in here just quite easy going around but don't try to destroy the reflection you have I'm going to go all over the river again with these guys. Um, let's maybe make the background of the uh, top part a little darker, not too much. But uh, maybe, again, I have some black left in here, so I'm going to just maybe make the back of this guy. This is my line for the white. So I'm just going to try to go back of my stuff a little dark. I just made that decision. You don't have to again do it. So it shows where the sky start or I'm not making it a very dark one and I don't keep going and taking more uh, black. This is the black that I took at the beginning and is still on my brush. Let me make this guy on the top darker too. But I don't want to make it too um, rough. So I'm just taking a little bit of water to make it more smooth looking. Just dip my brush on a little bit of water. easy so I always tell uh, my uh, students whenever you think that you don't like it just change it that's all you have to do and uh, you don't always have to follow exactly what I say you don't feel like putting some black on the back don't I just want to maybe make the outline a little bit so, as I'm coming out of the darkness from there, I'm going to make it a little, again, hold the brush this way and try to go into the sky that I had over here so it's not so visible. Mm. Once in a while, stand back and take a look at it and see if you like it or not. I might want to... I have some uh, green over here. I might take some of that and then put it in here. Again, I'm just going maybe big ones. Mm. Okay, I don't like the roughness on this. Oh. You see, don't put too much water ever, because then you will destroy the whole painting. I want to make it more smooth looking, so I put just a little bit of water on my brush, just to make it look smoother. Uh, whenever you dip your brush, try to do only the tip of it, and nothing more, so... Let's make this coming in more. And we're going to destroy the water process that we have. When you're watching this, as I said, if you feel like uh, stopping it and maybe um, going back and doing something else, uh, you're welcome to do so and then come back to it or if you need to do it before if I'm doing it too quick go ahead again stop it and let's see okay I actually now 
like it because it doesn't look too rough make it as smooth as you like it to be and make it the way that you want it to be let me make these guys more smooth on here so bit too much water maybe again okay so let's not see the lines so well so i'm going over the white lines so i don't see the lines so well uh in here you're seeing it because it's the background of your basically your leaves okay mm. so far so good so I forgot we only need four color for this whole painting so I'm gonna need some uh, blue for the bottom of it just so it looks like a river even though I put that uh, let me first take some white and start going exactly what I did so just putting some wave here and there I did very little of white because I forgot to put some blue on my uh, on all of my colors so I'm gonna grab some blue some blue and again I didn't wash my brush so I'm gonna have some black and white on it so it's gonna make the shade very nicely going as you can see so I'm gonna start again going across as many or as little as you like don't try to stop yourself is basically your hand is going left to right that's all it is I'm going to start from the very, very top. And again, just a little bit of water on the tip of yours. And start having your lines going around. And don't think about it being totally straight. Otherwise, it's going to look uh, like... You don't have any shade or any wave going around. Not making total wave, but so keep your brush again going this way, going to the the back of it, the front of it, the side of it. Get rid of all the color that you can think that you have on your brush. I put very little blue. I want the bottom part to be lighter for me. Don't forget to put a little bit in here so it doesn't look too black. The reflection of your tower of stone. Okay. Again, take white if you feel like it. Put some more white if uh, you want. Uh, if you want to put some more dark. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, stand back and look at it and see what you feel like. Just make sure it's not a big crumbs of uh, color in one spot. That's all I care for. I want it to be smooth looking since it's my ribbon. Okay. 
Mm, I don't want to take any color. I just wanted to put some water here and there just to make it look again kind of a smooth ball. Whatever. Okay, now uh, I did all these. I'm gonna try to separate my stone from each other. Take very, very little white and separate your stones. Hold your brush this way so you don't go too much of the line. As I said, you took very little of it. So it's not a hundred percent gray. You want to maybe put the corners visible a little. So I'm making my stones kind of uh, smoother looking than at the beginning I did. Everything looks great. Remember, you never make a mistake in art. You're showing yourself. Okay, so in here, we're gonna start and we're gonna go ahead with our smallest brush that we have. We won't sign it yet. This is totally your choice. So we're gonna take some of the white that we have without any of the water or anything else straight into it and think about it. You have three or four stone. Think of inspirational word. Uh, I'm thinking about love, laugh, live. Uh, you can have anything that you can think of that you like to make a point with. Now, do this only if you like to do it. But let's see. I want to make sure that when I'm painting this or when I'm hanging this, it would be a person that is going to look at it and smile. So think about doing it with a nice smile. So I want to go maybe uh, green. Hmm, let me see. Maybe I want to just do green, live and laugh so just write it right in the middle of it now keep taking your uh, white and doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect and it doesn't have to be extra I don't want it to be very white and visible so totally your choice how you do it and where you put your white if you don't like it Go over it with black again and start all over again. I think you might dream it to be a little more visible. Any inspirational word would be a good one. Okay, I put it over there. Again, take a look at it. You don't like it, go over it. You don't want to write it, totally. No problem. It seems like everything is according to what I want it. Do I want to add anything to it at this point? Hmm. I don't know. I just know if I sign it, I'm not allowed to touch it. That's one of the rules. Let me actually make my leaves an outline. I want to put the outline of the white on it so it would be visible. So I'm still using my tin brush that I have. This uh, 
and then going over it. I don't want to go outside of this so much. Just so my leaves stand out. If you don't keep taking a lot of white, then it blends in with your uh, green or whatever you have. If you're starting, then it goes very well. And you're welcome to use, again, water to make it glide better. I don't want it to be too smooth. You're choosing these ones. Okay, let's outline my guy over here. So it will look clean. Okay. I'm standing back, taking a look at it. Um, again, if you like it, put a like very little white in here, just so it stands out, but you don't have to. So far, so good. It would be nicer if I add some more light blue in here, but I think I'm okay with it. So I'm going to go ahead, take with the same brush that I had, a black and sign it. You sign it, you're not allowed to touch it. So make all your decisions before you do this. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully we see you later on. You have a great day.